Yeah, with mom's help. Isn't it beautiful? Mom, can you teach me how to draw like that? All of these colors are mesmerizing. Look at the geometric shapes. It reminds me of another artist's artwork, specifically the artist Paul Clay. Okay, this is how we created this artwork. Begin by getting out your paper and pencil and eraser and a ruler. Let's draw some vertical lines, making sure they don't touch the top of the paper and hold your ruler vertically. You can make more than 10 lines, maybe 11 or 12, but don't go too crazy. Reposition your ruler to be in the horizontal position and position it right above every vertical line and draw a horizontal line to the right or to the left, creating some structures that could look like buildings. You can cross your horizontal line across many vertical lines and just fill your space with more horizontal lines. at the tops of your buildings like triangles, semicircles, trapezoids, some squares or circles. that I'm done drawing in pencil, it's time to sharpie over those pencil lines. Be sure to put something underneath your paper to protect the surface that you're drawing on because sharpie can soak through paper. Even though it appears my hand is moving fast, I am tracing slowly so I don't make any mistakes. And then I erase the pencil lines when I'm done sharpieing. To decide on colors, I look at Paul Clay's paintings to get a little inspiration. After a lot of thought, Mom and I decided to use crayons and colored pencils to add our color. Also helpful to put some paper or a book, a soft covered book, underneath your drawing paper when you're using crayons and colored pencils. It'll help with blending and creating a smooth Forever. Are we done yet, Mom? Oh, wow. I'm good. I am a really great artist. 
gross. Thanks for teaching me how to make this awesome artwork. I'm gonna get right to work. This took me a long time. I'm really proud of it.